Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Tip and welcome to part 3 of my video series on how to create a sales report in Microsoft Excel 2010. Now, we're going to be going over for this part 3 of the series on a few alignments um, to some of the column as well as we're going to start entering our numbers. So first thing we want to do is go right here to A1 and we're going to drag this to just about 100 pixels there we go now this up here I don't know if it's going to show up in the video where it says uh, Microsoft Excel product activation fail uh, don't worry about that um, it's just that my key the one that my school gave me it's currently not working for some reason so it's not working properly and I'll have to most likely reinstall everything um, all the Microsoft Office uh, tools anyways so now that we've done that let's as well align the text for the moms center it makes it look a lot nicer I um that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to do for now we're gonna be messing around a little bit more to make it a lot better anyways now let's start entering some numbers so I'm thinking something let's see I'm trying to think of some numbers to put in let me think uh, four Seven, eight, nine, one, ten. Well, anyways, I'm gonna pause the video real quick while I finish entering these numbers, and then I'll start it up again once I'm done. Alright, so now I finished putting in all my numbers, and we want to get the total, which will be put under BA. And now, the way most people normally do is bring out a calculator, start adding it all up, but you can actually just have Microsoft Excel do it for you. So, what I'm going to do is type in equal B3. Plus, whoops, not B3. No, no, no. Huh. Let me uh, actually stop. B4 should be correct. Plus B5 plus B6 plus B7. Click enter. And it'll give me my total. And we'll do the same thing for C. So again, equal C4 plus C5. Oops. Plus C6. C7. Enter. Gives me my total. And I'm going to basically do the same thing for, for the rest of them. Now I went ahead and skip ahead um, to the last column. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Oops. Four. Actually, I'm just going to show you a different way that you can do it for the last one. Um, it's uh, It may be a faster way to do it. And this is basically by doing equal sum, and then I just do what is this? I believe it's E four. Yeah, and then all the way up to. E7 parentheses again 
click enter and it'll give you the total which is a lot faster but uh, I just remember about that now anyways um that's uh, basically how to use the formula and if you guys have any questions or concerns leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them as well remember to like the video if, if you uh, found this interesting and if you enjoyed it and subscribe to stay updated when part 4 comes out. I'll catch you guys later.